Hey guys, it's Nintendo Gen 64 here. Welcome you to the part 11th part of Let's Play Earthbound. Oh, I think it is anyway. Let's go, shall we? So, I am where I was last time. This is Peaceful Rest Valley. I'm pretty, yeah, I think so. That's the name of it. Well, it's the name of the program is game. Gave to this place. Um. <clears throat> so here's a prison up here. I think I should. Well, there's a whole bunch of little UFOs down there. Uh, no, this is travel time. I'm gonna take the time to equip it. That should help me along my adventure. Now, along this path, you'll probably see a couple of moving trees. I'm, I'm just not gonna touch those, okay? Because. I said that about the scrambling evil mushrooms, but I can actually avoid these guys if I try to. Because they hurt me, okay? They, they almost kill me. They were just my HP to a very low level, so. Anyway, I wonder who made this bridge impossible. Why would someone do this? Crud. Well, oh, I can think of plenty of reasons why someone would do that, but let's not go into that right now. Oh, I was forgetting a pr present down there. So, yeah, every time you see a present, just open it <laughs> with a vise. That's like the best thing you can do with them, otherwise there could be something really important inside that you might have missed or something, so... Just open presents, okay? Even though it might not be Christmas, or your birthday, you can still open presents. Well, well, it's dangerous around there. See if I can get around it. Oh, there's a present up there. Awesome. Croissant. Croissant. I know my French impression was bad, but yeah. Oh, by the way, this one—I don't—I don't know if the programmers thought about this when they created the game, but there's a little glitch. Well, there's always little glitches, but if you walk off the screen, like this is like a couple enemies. Say over to my left, and there were a few enemies over there. I just walked off here and then came back. Chances are that they would—they would not be there anymore, or that would be much less of them. So that's just a little. Helpful advice from your friend Nintendo Gen 64. Okay, there's a little UFO. And I am back from reversing a little UFO. I'm gonna restore a bit of my TP right about now. By the way, yeah, up here. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm gonna leave it in, I suppose. I suppose I should, because there is a new enemy. See that guy? That is a spinning robo, as it probably would have said on the screen. Let's use this bit of PSI hammer. Before we get creamed. Okay. This is look okay, I'm gonna... Life off. Okay, good. Ah, that's what the cold remedy does, okay? See the little UFO shot of beam that made me, well, see down the bottom there? Basically now... Yeah, I should probably shoot that. I'll get, I'll get rid of the spinning robo first, because that, that tends to hurt a bit more. And yeah, you sneeze and you lose HP. Jeez, come on. This is This is just being ridiculous. Oh, life up again. It only costs five. But see, it's worth it, because I would die if he. Yeah. So, shoot the little UFO. Man, I did not expect this fight to go on as long as it did. Okay, that's. <laughs> We're out of the woods there. So, I think when I get to the next town, there's a drugstore there. I'm, I'm gonna buy a cold drink. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, I see what's happening. Yeah, I think I'll eat a hamburger. Oh, come on, check it. Well, I'm gonna get rid of the other one anyway. Yeah, see, hard hat. So now I'm gonna equip it onto my head. 
Oh, I don't know. Now, we can bid farewell to our Mr. Baseball Cap. I mean, bid farewell to him, Baseball Cap, where is there? Drop. Sorry, we, we just don't need it anymore because the hard hat is so much more powerful. Okay, the territorial oak there. It's still there. Okay, guys, you're gonna see what a territorial oak is. So prepare yourself. And this, my friends, is a territorial oak. Let's see if we can run away away from it. But couldn't. I hope it did not work on this. I don't know which I are. Uh, attack it then. This is gonna be a very touch and go bad life, mate, I can assure you. Man, I, uh, I'm wasting so much time battling these guys. I reckon I'm sneezing more in that. Yeah, okay, I reckon the sneezing is hurting me more. But as you see, when those trees die, they actually inflict damage upon you, so watch out for that. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Life up again. Alright, there should be a couple mag a few magic butterflies around anyway, so. Anyway, we need to get down there, right? But the only way we, we can do that is. Jeez. This is by going through the happy, happy village. You see that work? There's a couple of mobile sprouts around just behind me back there, and yeah, I got rid of them. So, let's go through this cave of wonder and mystery. Oh, Quill Snake. Hello, my friend. I haven't seen you back since part two. How you doing? Huh. That would be an instant victory there. They only give me one EXP, there's no point in questing them. So, this here is the Happy Happy Village, as you can see by the sign. There's an insane, oh, there's a guy in a blue robe down there. I wonder if he's in cahoots with the chubby guy. Okay, quick, give me, give me, give me, give me. I need prescription drugs and I'm, no, not you. I need prescription drugs and I'm under 18. Quick. Cold remedy. Okay. Uh, okay, come on. Ah, oh, God, I got a cold. Good. Nah, uh, I'm probably gonna. Yeah, I think that's good. Do I need to add? I didn't draw money yet. I didn't say a word, I know exactly what you're thinking, my son, who I thought to be such a brave kid he was. Oh yeah, go here, honey, beep, click, beep, beep, beep. My mom thinks I'm a hero. This is the happiest day of my life. Okay, enough of paranoia and dreams and stuff. I don't know, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go talk to my friend Nancy. Okay, I just gave away a, I gave it away, but yes, in this house that Nancy is in here. Who are you, Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was, was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door. You need to get the key from the carpenter. He's got it hidden away. I heard the carpenter can control the lightning. In that case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? Yes, I've got the Franklin badge. I'll wait here until you return. Come back and get me once you defeat Carpenter. Don't worry about me. Just kick his butt like I know you can. Well, that's a woman. <laughs> uh, Franklin badge. Uh, before you equip it, I know what it goes on there. Sure. Oh, well. 
Anyway, that's enough for this episode, I don't think so. Oh, she's got a teddy bear in her cell. <laughs> no, that's enough. Oh, okay, I'll see you guys next time. See you later. Farewell for now. Bye.